Hello and welcome to 10 Minute Mastery. This session will be about adjusting entries. This is part two, more adjusting entry examples. By the end of this 10 Minute Mastery, you will be able to journalize adjusting entries. But first, let's review what we know from part one. Adjusting entries are defined as journal entries recorded as part of the accounting cycle to bring the accounts up to date at the end of each accounting period. The adjusting process occurs while analyzing and updating the accounts to bring the ledger up to date. This occurs before financial statements are prepared. What needs to be adjusted? Accrued revenues, accrued expenses, prepaid expenses, depreciation, and unearned revenues. Keep in mind, each adjusting entry will impact both the balance sheet and the income statement. Now that we have reviewed adjusting entries, let's jump in and practice journalizing more adjusting entries. Keeping in mind, every transaction impacts at least two different accounts. Example one. This example pertains to an adjustment for a prepaid expense. December 31, the prepaid insurance account had a beginning balance of $8,400 and was debited for $13,700 of premiums paid during the year. Below is the journalized adjusting entry required, assuming the amount of unexpired insurance related to future periods is 8,420. The adjusting entry needs a debit to insurance expense in the amount of $13,680. The credit is to prepaid insurance in the same amount of 13,680. Now you may be wondering where did this $13,680 even come from? Well, first of all, this is the amount of insurance that has expired. The information here provides us all of the amounts that we need to make this adjusting entry. First of all, we have the 8,400. Then we need to add the 13,700. And then we subtract the unexpired insurance of 8,420. This will give us the $13,680 amount that pertains to our adjusting entry. Let's look at another one. Example two, this is an adjustment for unearned revenue. On June 1, Arctic Company received $20,700 for the rent of land for 12 months. Below is the journalized adjusting entry required for unearned rent on December 31st. So on December 31st, we're going to debit unearned rent in the amount of $12,075. The credit is to the rent earned account in the amount of $12,075. How do we get this? Well, rent earned is 20,700 divided by the 12 months times seven months. Now what's the seven months? The seven months is the period between June and December. So June, July, August, September, October, November, December, that's seven months. So there's your equation to make this adjusting entry. We use the 20,700 divided by 12. We get that amount and then we multiply that by seven months. Let's look at one more example. This one is going to involve making two adjusting entries. This example is an adjustment for prepaid and accrued taxes. Arctic Company organized as a business on April 1 of the current year. On April 2, Arctic Company prepaid 48,200 to the city for taxes. This was for license fees for the next 12 months and they debited 
prepaid taxes account. Also, Arctic Company is required to pay in January an annual tax on property for the previous calendar year. The estimated amount of the property tax for the current year, April 1 to December 31, is 17,800. So this is going to involve two adjusting entries. Here they are. These are the two adjusting entries required to bring the accounts affected by the two taxes up to date as of December 31. So the first adjusting entry here, we've got the date, December 31. The debit is to taxes expense in the amount of $36,150. The credit is prepaid taxes, $36,150. Where did I get this? Back up in the transaction, you can see here that we've got $48,200. So we take that amount, we multiply it by the 12 months, or we divide it by the 12 months, get that amount, and then multiply it by the nine months. Why nine months? Because we've got April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. That's the nine months. So that's how we have that equation for that first adjusting entry. 48,200 divided by the 12 months, times the nine months. That's how we get 36,150. Now for the next transaction, this one involves that 17,800 that you see there in the transaction. <clears throat> this one involves a debit to the taxes expense in the amount of 17,800. Then we've got the credit to taxes payable in the amount of 17,800. So this is an example of a transaction impacting two adjusting entries. Thank you for viewing. Feel free to leave any comments below and don't forget to subscribe. Also, hit the like button.